Hey guys, Trip, we're here back with the next part of The Walking Dead 400 Days. Now, we've got two left. We have Shell and Bonnie. So we're going to do Shell first, and then we'll do Bonnie last. So that'll be the next video. And then once these two are done, it'll finally be on to season, season two, which I've been pushing forward for for so long, because I've not played it, and I need to know what happens to Clementine. So let's get on with Shell and see what her story is. Thirty-six days in. Hey, Shell, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? <laughs> Fucked if I know. I don't know. I know it's changed me. Well, all of us. But at this age, for her. I don't know. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Hmm. Thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. <laughs> in that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to Ooh. it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Uh-uh. I don't want you messing with those unless we're in danger, okay? I'll take care of those later. Fine. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. Hmm. Eesh. These knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. Good to know. How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. Let's have a check with this girl. She seemed a bit pissed off that she couldn't check the guns, but she looks very young. And it's the conversation they were just having. I figured, yeah, keep her away from the bad shit. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you going to find out? Yeah, in a sec. Ooh. Look at the attitude. And I've walked too far this way. That's where I need to go. And I've got an itchy nose. At least I'm not playing or in a blind forest this time when it happens. Yeah, last itchy nose I had was actually in recording or in the blind forest, and it's just a really awkward point as well, because I couldn't take my hand off the controller. Ooh. We should do an inspection on these. Make sure they all work. Yeah. Without proper regulation inspections, it's down to the this people who use them. This hasn't worked in a long time. Sodar. Really? I never liked soda streams. I believe that's what they're called. Smells good. <laughs> okay. Just a random stir and then walk away. 
Most people taste it before doing that. Fix it. Look at the shelf. Ooh, starting to thin out in here. Thank yeah. God we have a garden now. Yeah, damn right. Oh, you scared me. He's hungry. I guess he knows it's feeding time. What? It's not an animal, Roman. Well, it's not human either. Not anymore. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. This is far from an easy life, Roman. You know what I mean. She needs to know the sacrifices we have to make to survive in this world. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Yeah, I suppose... Yeah, I suppose the fact that if she was let or able or allowed to do that, allowed to check the guns, it would prepare her for later on when she's grown up and hasn't got other people around to sort of protect her and shield her from all the bad shit. So I can see both sides of the story, or both sides of the argument there. That always happens, I'm always in the middle of things. I can always see both sides, and it's really freaking annoying. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what is it? Oh. It's a dog. Wait, isn't that... <laughs> Yeah, they must have found this place after Wooly, was it? After Wooly came here with uh, that dickhead driver. Basketball? They used to like playing basketball. The only two sports I actually liked was basketball and badminton. <laughs> oh, Jesus, don't ever fucking do that again! Whoa! What's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. I'm sorry. It's... It's just the watchdogs. I guess they found a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was... It was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but after a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it, and you want to protect it, and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell! Becca! Something's going on outside! What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. He went outside. Well, he went out front. What the hell is happening? Come here! Everyone! Shit! Come on! We gotta find Roman! This month. So Jesus. What the fuck? Largum. L My God. L Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. Who is he? I got no idea. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck in. Second break in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch them, and they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. 
Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him but on his what way. what if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? Boyd's right. We should just let him go. Why? Look at the poor bastard. We've all done the same thing trying to survive. We don't have to be responsible for him, but we can give him some food and let him take his own it's chances. It's not about his chances. It's about ours. Well, what's to stop him from coming back? And armed next time. We could always use more hands keeping the place secure. Boyd, we don't need any more people here. And look at him. He, he can't help? even speak English. This group works because we know how to communicate. That's true, but that's also discrimination. Are you judging him based on race? Of course not. But come on. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon oh. and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. Vernon was out for the boat the whole time. And the second they left that boat unattended, we just stole it. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, we'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. You're right. It's gotta be one or the other. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, yeah. we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? <laughs> Shit. Um. God damn it, 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 damn it. Fuck it. We have to set him free. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us? That isn't the same thing. But last time. Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm not ready to let that go. Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Oh, Give him got? some food. When? Three or four cans. Just as a gesture of good faith. And get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying, but you better understand this. You came this close to death today. And if you ever, ever come near this place again, or tell anybody where we are, you wish you had died today. Fucking hell. Yeah, he's not impressed. Two hundred and fifty nine days in. Ooh. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Yep. <laughs> I miss playing guitar for everyone. It was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Shit. Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last God time... Damn. Roman hasn't taken any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Oh, God, do you know how dangerous that is? It's not dangerous. There's nothing out there but slow-ass walkers. What are you talking about? We've had two break-ins already. Anyone could be out there. What if someone sees you and, and follows you back here? They Kids. won't. 
Fuck Damn it, sake. Becca. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. We can talk here. No. Just finish up here and come find me. And don't take too long. What was that all about? Hmm. I don't know. Probably not good, though. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't seem good. I can't be asked to talk to her. Nasty old woman. Part of the group that stole my boat. If the boat hadn't got stolen, God knows how it would have changed. Good, you're here. What's this all about? It's Stephanie. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Now she's a risk. Do you know where she was going? What her plans were? No. She had a bag with most of our ammo and medicine in it. Damn it. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Yeah. You want me to take care of it. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. Well, we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now. And I need to know that you're with us a hundred percent. God damn it. Let's talk to her first. See if we can talk some sense into her. No. When she tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo, she knew that could mean the death of any one of us. If we give her a second chance, she might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell <laughs> Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? What I'm gonna say is gonna be hard to hear. What is it? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of ammo and medicine and tried to escape. Oh my god. Fucking hell. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? Because this place isn't safe anymore. After those guys attacked us, even after we let their friend go, this place just hasn't been the same. Of course not. Roman's trying to make it better. Better? No one is happy anymore. We live like prisoners. But it's safe here. I mean, yeah, I want to get away every now and then, but I would never leave. That's crazy. No, it's not. Roman wants me to do it. Unless you I'm can sorry. 100 guarantee your place is, uh, is let's safe. Let's just get it over with. It's your gun's over there, that. in the drawer. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. No, you won't. But for how long? I don't exactly. know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. 
This is who we are now. No, it's not. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. Shell, it's time. Fucking dicks. I'm not cutting the episode, don't worry. I'm just... I don't know what to pick. Do we try and escape? Try and start somewhere new? Get away from that lot? Or do we stay, kill Stephanie, and risk getting attacked and killed? Either way, it's a fucking risk, and it's a... Both options. Choosing either one is stupid. There needs to be an option C. Because <laughs> staying there is stupid. It's not... Def it's not safe, it's not defended enough there isn't enough sort of protection running out of supplies the people there are assholes, I mean the old woman, bitch saying we should have killed the guy and was part of the team that stole the boat from Lee, Lep Kenny and all that lot Roman's just a freaking thug If only we could get Stephanie and drive off. No, we, I can't take the keys. I can't. Even if I wanted to, I can't. There's no supplies on that camper van. Nothing. So if they, if I chose the keys and drove off. I'd be basically committing suicide for both of them because neither of them have got any supplies probably only enough ammunition in the gun and that's it, no extra no medical supplies the fuel's either probably really low or almost empty it's just she's got no choice she has to stay to survive or, or survive longer at least anyway god damn it I don't ever want to put you in danger. If that means this is what we have to become, then it is what it is. I wanted to grab the keys. If the camper was full of st supplies, then I would have done it. I would have gone. I'm sorry. Me too. Fucking hell. Right, that shell done as well. One more to go, and then we can start series two which should be more entertaining than the rec my recording of season one and as I've said multiple times because I keep I'm a I repeat myself a lot as I've been told from my saw playthrough where I apparently kept mentioning every time I saw needles how much I didn't like needles but yeah as I've said before season two I have never played I know nothing about it other than Clementine's in it so I don't know what happens it, it's going to be completely blind play and it will be emotional I expect so that will be coming after the next video which will be Bonnie so that's shell done that's probably the one thing about this type of game I don't like the options are set you can't choose your options it's just this one or this one I mean, I, if I had a little bit more information then, I would have probably gone for the keys. 
Because if they, I didn't know if they had supplies on that van, on that van. If they had food and medicine, maybe even ammunition, I'd have picked up those keys and driven out of there right then. Because it's not safe. It's safer than driving off without anything. But if you, if, if that van had stuff, that would have been the right choice. Because they would have had supplies, they would have been fine. They would have got away from that group of horrible people. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, let me know down below what you thought. What would you do in that situation? Would you have taken the keys or would you have shot Stephanie? You can go into detail if you like or just keep it simple. I don't mind. But yeah, what would you do? I don't... It's a tough one. But yeah, thank you for watching and as always, I shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye.